Hello everyone, and today we're back into another Looming and Legacy PvP video, and today we are using the full team of Watcher types. So, this is going to be very interesting, and uh, there's a Venolin that's kind of one of the few Lumians I did not want to see at all. I didn't want to see a Venolin at all. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything, but yeah, Venolin was one of the few Lumians I did not want to see. Who are some other ones? I want to bring you, because you look actually very good. Actually, I can't hit other water types that hard. I just realized. I want to bring Cephalops. The Cephalops can hit everything on his team. Plus, it's a free swap in on the Vesperatu. I want to bring all I do is stall, but I don't think it's going to help. I need Canelo. I need you. Is Lumello worth it? it? Lumello is worth it. So I am actually going to keep Cephalops. No, i got to bring it. No, I am going to leave Cephalops behind. Let's do this. Let's see who he leads off with. Zulong lead. I think that is really predictable. Like, I could have predicted it, but it's just, you know. It's just tough, because, you know. Zulong, is one, Zulong and Venolin are basically two minions I kind of did not want to see. Jeez, that did a lot of damage. For one attack, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, Zulon, I don't know how I'm going to be able to beat it. I guess I got to go into all I do is stall. And then hope and try to dodge. And just try to dodge him. This is not going to be easy. Hopefully it does not do half health. I am clever. It does not do half, which is perfect. We're going to go for dodge. We do got barbs up, which is nice. So we do get a layer of barbs. If he goes in the Venolin, we are in trouble. He did not go in the Venolin. Perfect. That would have been trouble if he went in the Venolin. He might have actually... No, that... It doesn't go through dodge. I dodged the move. He tried to get in the Venolin, though. I'm going to throw a stat plant up. I'm going to throw a stat plant. Yeah, I think all I do is stall. The Stalfino is actually going to carry in this match, because one, it's one of the few Lumians on my team that can take a normal move from Zulong. So yeah, it's going to be one of the few Lumians that is probably going to carry in this match. There we go. So now I got the stat plant on Zulong. I feel like he's going to click. I feel like he's going to click Ancient Roar. Or he swaps out predicting the dodge. So I am actually going to click Scapegoat. Oh, he actually went Elemental Burst. Don't crit or burn. It didn't burn. I got a free Scapegoat up, which is big. Getting the Scapegoat up against Zulong is huge, because you can actually dodge well behind a Scapegoat, which makes it very scary. And I'm actually starting to chip the Zulong very badly. If he gets stuck into a move, he could be in trouble. Yep, he got stuck. He made a big mistake. Very big mistake, man. And I am serious when I mean extremely huge mistake. I'm going to go for another scapegoat because I'm getting health back. <laughs> the only way to beat Zulong, Stalfino. Just use Stall against it. Yeah, now that Zulong is stuck in a very bad position. Because I am not allowing the Zulong to beat me. I am not allowing it. I click scapegoat, but it means absolutely nothing. He brought both. He brought them both. He brought Venolin. And Zulong. He brought them both. He brought them both. I'm going to go for a sap plant. Because I kind of need to. And I need to hit this too. I need to hit this. Because I kind of want health back. Hit it. Thank you. Um, so he goes for adaptive assault. My scapegoat breaks. But no big deal. Venolin's health is absorbed by the sap plant. I'm going to go for a dodge and try to stall down this guy's energy. There we go. And I actually am going to swap out. I am going to save there. Oh, Barter goes through dodge. Are you kidding? I totally for Oh, no. I got health amulet? Yeah, this thing is a nightmare. This guy is a nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to be Venolin. Well, I got to go into Bar Blast. I did not want to give it that. I really did not want to give Venolin that. That really sucks. Yeah, him getting Health Amulet really sucks. 
I might as well go for a water bomb because he hits that plant it. If Zulong comes back in, I have the electric orb. So Zulong doesn't even really want to come in. Does he go into it? Really? He might have just lost Zulong there. I think he might have just lost Zulong. Oh, not quite. Are you kidding? I actually didn't quite get him. Well, I'm the I am I am Volt Orb. I am the Volt Pearl. Unfortunately for you, I'm holding a Volt Pearl. Watch it paralyze. Okay, it does it. Zulong's out of the picture, and that's one threat that's huge to be gone. That's one of the biggest threats I'm glad to have gone. Venolin is still there, though, and Venolin is scary. Now that it has health amulet, Venolin is trouble, and Vesperati is also trouble. I have a strategy. If I go into all I do is stall and hit and get rid of that health and get rid of that heavy shackle, I might be able to get it back going again. That's, that's if it lives a hit, of course. It doesn't live a hit. I guess it makes sense, but, you know... Like, you saw my idea, at least. At least you saw the idea. Cephal... Oh, I didn't even bring Cephal... Uh-oh. That's trouble. I could probably live a slap down for Illuminami, but... I don't want it to come down to that. But it looks like it probably is what it's gonna come down to. It probably is is what's gonna come down to. We're gonna flash and play. He actually stayed in on me. That's insane. Jeez, that does so much damage. Why did I not bring Cephalop? I hope this takes it out. If it doesn't, we might be in trouble. Okay, we did take out Vesperatu, which is huge. Vesperatu does go down. Luminami is still alive. And I'm actually going to go into Cannabo. I'm going to pivot out into my Cannabo. Which, honestly, I think is a really good idea. Because now he can't get into Venolin for free. I'm going to let him show that I'm not going to let him get into Ventolin for free. Because I'm not allowing him to get into Ventolin. I'm not allowing him to get into it. And if he does get into it, he's getting chipped. Let's see what he does. He does go Ventolin. He goes down in one hit. That's a bad call on his part. I'm just going to click Rage and Tackle. I wonder if he's trying to bait me. I have no idea, though. Let's see what he does. Please stay in. Because Cannibal is the only thing that can do enough damage to Ventolin to take it out. That's the thing. Cannibal is the only thing that can go through Ventolin. He should save this. He should save Ventolin. If he doesn't save Ventolin, I have a shot at winning. And he doesn't save Ventolin. Wow, he just made a big mistake not saving Ventolin. He made a big mistake not saving Ventolin there. Let's see what his last couple Lumions are. Temptation. I have Barblast. Barblast can probably win it. Let's go into Luminami. Let's, I'm going to head into Luminami and pivot into my... Pivot into my... What is it called? Pivot into my Barblast. That will be the plan, at least. I might lose Luminami. I might lose Luminami to this, but... It's... He actually just clicked Soft Water, which is fine. That's fine for me. He might not be able to take me out, which is huge. Yeah, the barbs, the one... Even with just having one barb, it's causing some mayhem. I'm gonna go for Flash and Flea. Go for Battering Ram. If I live this, that'd be awesome. I do live it. So now, since Luminami soaked the hit, Barblast is now awoken again. He, the threat of Barblast, is now back in full force. He has a health amulet, Ventation, but Ventation does not do enough to one shot me. I go for Rejuvenate. He's in trouble. I actually outspeed his Ventation, so he's very sluggish. That means he's probably very sluggish. How much would it have done? Don't lower my melee defense. Yeah, that would not have done enough. He is in absolute trouble now. He stays in. This might one shot. It does one shot. And if his last one's wrestling, it's game over. This he will 
the water types is doing very well today. I mean, it beat it Zulong, Vanillin, and Vesperatu. Inventations. What is his last one? If his last one's wrestling, it's over. It's over. We won. Yeah, those barbs are really knocking him down. So, Toxic Blast. This guy cannot touch me. Unless he crits twice, this guy can't beat me. Path of Assault. Okay, that's a little bit more than I anticipated, but you know what? One shot. Get out of there. GG. I'm going to change up my team, and let's head on to the second battle. All right, we're into the second battle now with the team of water types, and I swapped a couple of them out. I got... I got Puff over Bar Blast, and I got... And I got this thing. I got my... Arcalos over Luminami. So I got a couple new Lumians. So I got my... So I got... This thing looks really good for his team, although this thing is scary. The tank cannot hit this thing super effectively. I don't know, I can with Cannibal, but I don't really want it to come down to Cannibal. I could stall it down with Bonfino. I want to bring this thing for that thing. Oh no, is there another Venolin? Is there another Venolin? Oh my gosh, there's another Venolin. Uh, is Kalos then really worth it? Kalos is not that good in so let's bring Arpaigo instead. Let's lead off with Lumello and see if I can get something good. Oh, he has a Jolt. 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 What's with all the electric type? He goes for the Thunder Clap. If this flinches me, I might be very mad. Nope. I got one set of barbs up again, which is good. I need one set of barbs, basically. The barbs really make it. Now, I gotta find a way. All I do is stall. You basically got to come in. And hopefully you live two Thunderclap. Can I live two of them? It's Ambush. Never mind. I don't live two of them. It's Ambush. So I basically gotta stall down the Jolties, basically. Stall out his energy and then go into Cannibal and win with Cannibal. That's basically what we gotta do. I want to save this so bad. But I think I am just going to sap plant. Actually, I am just going to chip it. I am just going to go for the chip damage. Because Cannibo should be able to take out Joltu from that range. He went for Bamboozled, actually. Yeah, that actually goes through Dump Fate. He actually has Bamboozled. Probably for the set I'm running. I'm not going to go into Cephalop, so I'm going to go into Cannibo. That's the safest play. And let's try to smack this Joel Tooth out of, out of existence. I don't think he's going to go Venolin. He could go Tundralin, but he doesn't want to. I am just going to take out his Joel Tooth. I am perfectly okay with that. Just get Joel Tooth out of there. That's big. Joel Tooth is out of the picture. This team is surprisingly handling with a lot of the counters pretty well. If he goes into Venolin, I'm just Raging Tackle. I'm just going to Raging Tackle because I need it. Wrestling hops on in. I did not... Did that bring anything for it? I didn't bring anything for this. Oh, no. I did not bring anything for wrestling. I did not bring anything for wrestling. Oops. And I kind of need it. I have to sacrifice Lamello. Even though he has Garlash, I've got to sacrifice Lamello. That's basically what it came down to. Oh, no, he has Driving... Okay, no, it just took it out. It just took it out. We are fine with that. Cephalops, hop on in. I'm bringing the Cephalops in, and that's so I can click Soul Drain. Because, man, I actually outspeed his wrestling. You love to see it. He clicks Driving Force. Uh, never mind. He just clicks. That's 100,000% very brawny. Oh my gosh. That's very brawny. I'm going to go for Raging. No, I want to still go for four Clobbers. So I am going for another Clobber. Wrestling's out of the picture. Okay, Wrestling's out. My Cephalops is chipped, which is not good. If he has Garlash, I have to go into Arpaigo. That's basically what I brought Arpaigo for. Tundralin, oh no. Tundralin is a lot of trouble. I might as well go for a clobber, but it's not going to take it out. 
Ooh, close though. Super duper close. Although if he clicks rejuvenate, he went body crash. It does take me out. He does take me out. I'm gonna go for Cephalops play though. I'm gonna go for the Cephalops play. If he brought Venolin, it's basically game over. Yeah, he has so many teams I can count on me. If it's Venolin, if it's Venolin, it's over. Golly gracious. What's with all the Venolins? I get Venolins really good, but yeah, okay, yeah, he's very clever too. Gosh, this is not good. I need a crater something if I want to get through it. I can't even two shot it from that range. Can I lift one? Oh, crit? Don't poison? Okay, I didn't poison, thank gosh. Jesus. If he goes for the attack, there's a shot. But he's just gonna heal him with a crit. Yep, he is just gonna go for a heal. Oh no, he just took me out. I need Arpaigo to clutch up then. Arpaigo honestly legitimately could clutch up here. Depending on what Lumians he has left. Come on. Come on, Arpaigo. We need Tsunami to take him out. Okay. Venolin's down. What does he have left? Can Arpaigo win me the game from here? If he has Garlash, which I don't think he brings it. Hammery, he's quad weak. He's quad weak. He has one Lumion left. What was his Lumion? I, I kind of forgot. This one shots him, I think. Because he's quad weak. Oh my goodness, Arpaigo might win me the game. What is his last Lumion? Is it Wrestling? It's Tundraland. It's Tundraland. It's Tunderland below. Oh my gosh, this team's going to get another win. Our Pygo clutches up. We're going to do a third battle with this team because I still have some water types to showcase. So let's head on to the third battle. All right, we're into the third battle now with the full water type team. And there's the third Venolin. Or this is the third Venolin I've seen today. There is a Eclipse, which isn't the worst. I got a couple things for it. Yeah, but seriously, three Venolins today. That's ridiculous. There's also a Metronat, which, like, man, it isn't the worst. Also, Yarsnack's going to be a pain in the butt to beat. I don't know how I'm going to beat Yarsnack. I want to bring Arpaigo, but Arpaigo doesn't look too hot. By the way, I replaced... I replaced Ponfino with Ventation. So, yeah, I got Ventation. Yeah, but these two just... Oh, I want to bring. I gotta bring one of the two. I gotta bring one of them. I gotta bring one of the two, and I think I'd bring that one over Aquilos. Unfortunately, Aquilos would not be part of the showcase, but I haven't seen any good matchups to use it in. So we're gonna leave it with Lumello again, and hopefully, we can play some Barbs right away. Your snack. Hey, your snack. I am perfectly okay with this matchup. It's basically just Barbs. It's basically just free barbs. I can't play poison barbs because every team has a Venolin. Every team has a Venolin. So, yeah, I have to play barbs down. And I'm just going to stack up on these barbs, too, I think. I think I'm just going to stack up on these. He does outspeed me, so he has to make a normal swap. Into who, though? Sochi. Sochi! Is he bad? Is Sachi bad for me in particular? I don't outspeed it on any of my Lumions. <laughs> oh, I don't outspeed it with any of my Lumions. Although, I think I am actually going to go into the Cephalops. I got two barbs up, and I can reuse Lamella later, so I think I'm going to go into the Cephalops and make a play. Foul Chance. I think I resist it. Let's see. I do. Let's go, Cephalops. Go for Soul Drain, so we have to swap out. Oh, I want to go for traps if I can, too. Traps would be nice. Traps would be very nice, actually. There he is. There's our good old friend Venolin for the third time today. That actually does more damage than usual, which is good. I gotta say this for the... I have to swap. <laughs> Plus my only swap. <laughs> Plus my only swap. Well, actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna go Lumello, because... Lumello is not really there as a big damage maker. It pretty much already did its job, honestly. He actually just went rejuvenate. Well, poison barbs. Poison barbs. Let's do it. Darn, he flopped out. I think I have three poison barbs up. 
Ah, I'm not sure yet. Of all things. Of all things. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, don't hypnotize. Okay, just it only click peace of mind. Which means he is provoked. He's provoked out, so that's big. But he does mega damage very fast. So I'm just going to click Barb and get my third set up. Get my third set of these up. There we go. I got my third set of barbs. I'm just going to hit Metronet because I need to do the extra damage. Go for another Dark Surge. Does it take me out? Not quite. I go for Bankful. Do a little bit of damage. Poison does absolutely nothing in this case. Oh, he is also health amulet. Dang. How am I going to beat this? Parkinesis. So how am I going to defeat Metronet? Question is, I can't defeat Metronet. Please don't be provoked. No, it calmed down. What do I do? Well, clutch up here. Spentation, I need you to live one hit. He swapped. Oh, he swapped. And who's out? You're snapped. Barbs are up, my friend. Barbs are up. I don't care about that. Barbs are up. And you're poisoned. That was not a good play on his part. Even though I do no damage, it doesn't matter that much. Poison does bring him down a little bit. I want to go into Cephalops. So I will go into it. I feel like he's going to baffle out. Let's see. If he baffles out, this will be a great play call if he baffles. He does baffle. Even though it's my speedy cephalops, it's fine that that was baffled and nothing else. Eclipse comes in. So, okay, we know his whole team now. Eclipse is one of his looms. Eclipse is scary. Eclipse is very scary. Although I do got Pwah. Although I do got Pwah. And I will go into it. I could stall him now. My Trinette, though, is bad. My Trinette is bad. I'm honestly going to predict the swap, because I feel like he knows my strategy. I'm going to make the direct swap, because he knows Metronet is trouble. Is he going to go Metronet? Please go Metronet. Saucy. I did not think he was going to go Saucy on his plate. I did not think that he could just go Saucy, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I went Vintation. I go into Cephalop, and I click Tsunami. I go into Cephalops and click Tsunami. I could also play Psychical Traps up, but it does absolutely nothing to the Metronet. Yeah, that Metronet's trouble. I don't know how I'm going to beat it. I'll let go Burst one. How much did I do? I didn't do that much. I'm going to go for a Tsunami to predict the Eclipse coming in. He just stays in. Sachi goes down. Oh, I lived. So Sachi is down. That's big. That's a big threat down. I still have Cannibal in the back, but it dies to Metronet. Basically, Metronet. Say hi. I think it's time to say hi to Metronet. Dark Surge will take me out. Although, now? That, you know, you know who put that? But you know who that puts in a great position? That's right. My Ventation comes in. And I don't care who comes in now. You have Ventolin, Ventate. Wait, so he has to click. Did he have Ventolin? Did his Ventolin already die? I'm trying to think. Oh no, he still has your snack. I'm the one with three. He still has your snack. But there's only so many times that your snack can swap in. That's the thing. There's only so many times that your snack can actually come in and. Tanks will hit. It's only so many times that your snack can take that hit. Oh! And melee defense drop. And melee defense drop. I'm gonna attack it. I'm battery ramming it. I just wanna get rid of this. He might just go down. He's down. That melee defense drop might have mattered. If he goes into the clip, I go into my plus. That's your net comes in. Oh my, the biggest opportunity. Please sack your Metronet. Please sack it. He forfeits! 
Oh my gosh, he forfeit. And that is the full team of water types. We won all three of our battles with this team. And that was against stuff that usually beats water types. This might be one of the most... This might be one of the best teams I've ever used. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing the full team of water types. And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!